Hello everybody, and welcome to something a little different than what I usually do. Today, we are talking about the universe theory. The universe we live in may not be the only one out there. In fact, our universe could be just one of an infinite number of universes making up a multiverse. Though the concept may stretch credulity, there's good physics behind it, and there's not just one way to get to a multiverse. Numerous physics theories independently point to such a conclusion. In fact, some experts think the existence of hidden universes is more likely than not. Here are five most plausible scientific theories suggesting we live in a multiverse. Number one, infinite universes. Scientists can't be sure what the shape of space-time is, but most likely it's flat, as opposed to spherical or even donut-shaped and stretched out infinitely. But if space-time goes on forever, then it must start repeating at some point, because there are no finite numbers of ways particles can be arranged in space and time. So if you look far enough, you would encounter another version of you, in fact, infinite versions of you. Some of these twins will be doing exactly what you're doing right now, while others will have worn a different sweater this morning and still others will have made vastly different career and life choices. Because the ob observable universe extends only as far as light has had a chance to get in the 13.7 billion years since the Big Bang, that would be 13.7 billion light years, the space-time beyond that distance can be considered to be its own separate universe. In this way, a multitude of universes exist, next to each other in giant patchwork quilt universe. Number two, bubble universes. In addition to the multiple universes created by infinitely extending space-time, other universes could arise from a theory called internal inflation. Inflation is the notion that the universe expanded rapidly after the Big Bang, in effect inflating like a balloon. Internal inflation, first proposed by Tufts University cosmologist Alexander Velinkin, suggests that some pocket of space stop inflating while other regions continue to inflate, thus giving, it, giving rise to many isolated bubble universes. Thus, our own universe, where inflation has ended, allowing stars and galaxies to form, is but a small bubble in a vast sea of space, some of which is still inflating that contains many other bubbles like ours. And then in some of these bubble universes, the laws of physics and fundamental constants might be different than in ours, making some universes strange places. Number three, the multiverse. The theory. Our universe is just one of many parallel universes, or maybe even an infinite number of parallel universes in existence. How likely is it? There are plenty of compelling arguments for the existence of multiverses, and some physicists claim that recent data from the Planck satellite provides evidence for it. There are plenty of TV shows with the ideal of multiverse theory, such as Rick and Morty and others. I don't really watch much TV show. Number three, parallel universes. Another idea that arises from string theory is the notion of brand worlds, parallel universes that hover just out of our reach of our own, proposed by Princeton University's Paul Stanhart and Neil Turek of the Parameter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Ontario, Canada. The idea comes from possibility of many more dimensions to our world than the three of space and one of the of time that we know. In addition to our own three-dimensional brand of space, other three-dimensional brand may float in a higher dimensional space. Columbia University physicist Brian Green describes the idea as the notion that our universe is one of potentially numerous slabs floating in a higher dimensional space, much like a slice of bread within a grander cosmic loaf. In his book, The Hidden Reality, Vintage Books, 2011, 
A further wrinkle on this theory suggests that these Bran universes aren't always parallel and out of reach. Sometimes they might slam into each other, causing repeated big bangs that reset the universe over and over. Number four, daughter universes. The theory of quantum mechanics which reign over the tiny world of subtonic particles suggests another way of multiple universes might arise. Quantum mechanics describe the world in terms of probabilities rather than definite outcomes. And the mathematical of this theory might just suggest that all possible outcomes of a situation do occur in their own separate universe. For example, if you reach a crossroad where you can go right or left, the present universe gives rise to two daughter universes, one in which you go right and one in which you go left. And in each universe, there's a copy of you witnessing one or the other outcome, thinking, incorrectly, that your reality is the only reality. Green wrote in The Hidden Reality. Number 5. Mathematical Universes Scientists have debated whether mathematics is simply a useful tool for describing the universe, or whether math itself is the fundamental reality and their observations of the universe are just imperfect perceptions of its true mathematical nature. If this is the case, then perhaps the particular mathematical structure that makes up our universe isn't the only option. And in fact, all possible mathematical structures exist as their own separate universes. A mathematical structure is something that you can describe in a way that's completely independent of human baggage, said Max Tegmark of MIT, who proposed this brain-twisting idea. I really believe that there is this universe out there that can exist independently of me that would continue to exist even if there were no humans. <laughs>